Hi there, it's David Geldart from Lumacrest Lighting Solutions. We've been a premier provider of LED lighting products since 2008. Now, if you're just beginning to discover LED lighting and the magic that it can perform in terms of saving energy and giving you more options for your lighting, you might be one of those people that find that everything is basically just a light bulb. But when you look around, there's a lot of different kinds of light bulbs and you'll encounter some kind of funny terminology which may be a little mysterious and I'm here to help you shed some light on it, let's say. Okay, so here's our light bulb. Everybody's pretty much accustomed to that. It's an A bulb is what we call it, invented by Thomas Edison 130 years ago. We also have light bulbs that look like this and this is a halogen light. These are not LEDs yet. Uh, this one's an LED, but basically they're interchangeable. So this guy is a PAR 20, we have a PAR 38, an LED PAR 30, an LED PAR 38. We've got a couple of MR 16 bulbs over here. So the purpose of this video is to explain to you what does all this terminology mean. I think everybody pretty much knows what a light bulb is. We actually call this an A bulb. But this is a PAR 20. So PAR, what is PAR? It's a parabolic anodized reflector. Why do we have a reflector? We have a filament in here. This is really just a, a form of a uh, incandescent light. It has a filament, but it has a reflector inside it that is meant to reflect all the light forward. So when we illuminate this light, we get a cone of light. So it doesn't shine all around. It just shines out as a spot or a floodlight. And the same with this one is bigger, therefore it's brighter. So, it's parabolic shaped, it's an anodized aluminum and it's a reflector, so that's par, parabolic anodized reflector, and that is a mouthful. So now we've got some funny numbers to deal with. We've got uh, a 20 and a 38. So, what is 20? 20 is the diameter. Now, that makes sense, except you go, well, what, <laughs> 20 what? Uh, is it 20 centimeters? Obviously it's not 20 centimeters, it's not 20 millimeters, and it's definitely not 20 inches. So, what is that dimension? If we measure it, we find that we have two and a half inches. So, what we have is 20 eighths of an inch. I didn't invent this system. I don't know why it's 20 eighths of an inch, but the number is eighths of an inch. So, now here we have the par 38, and the 38 is four and three quarter inches, and that is 38 eighths of an inch. Here's our LED version of the PAR 30, and it's three and three quarter inches, so it's 30 eighths of an inch. And uh, suddenly it's not all so mysterious anymore. So that's what the numbers mean. It's basically the diameter. The bigger the number, the bigger the diameter. The one other thing that I need to cover here is we have some other smaller lights, which are called MR16s. And again, the 16, as you've learned, means that it's 16 eighths of an inch, or two inches in diameter. And it's not a PAR light because it's not an anodized reflector, uh, but it is a reflector. It's a multifaceted reflector. Um, and so this is an MR, multifaceted reflector light. We have two different types of bases on these lights. This is a GU10 base, and this is a GU5.3 base. And in another video, I will explain to you what that means.